Vita here on a way more way. I'm happy to see you all here. Today, I'm gonna make a rustic wall piece in which I'm gonna use a single wood piece. I'm gonna paint it with a single color and make it look like rustic using minimal supplies. So let's get started. So, for this project, I have used cutting board, masking tape, precision knife, scissor, some pins, and a paintbrush. This cutting board is from Dollar Store. They sell it in various wood textures and sizes. They are all nearly equal to three to four dollars. Then I stain this wood, mixing coffee and water, just to improvise the raw wood or the cutting board vibes. And as we all know, water is no good for wood. I stained and soaked excess liquid 4 to 5 times during this process just to make sure that wood is not getting extra wet than needed. The only limitation using this coffee mixture is it can only reach up to certain level of staining and color shape so I would highly recommend to use industrial stain if you have it at your home. Then I let this wood piece dry for a few hours. If you want, you can dry it overnight as well. After preparing the base, I was ready to paint this piece. But before that, I had to make stencil for the design. And as I was making rustic decor, I was certain about using vintage print. If you want to go for same design as mine, you can search for Aztec prints, tribal Aztec prints or Navajo prints. And in this design, angles are pretty tricky parts if you are not using proper tools and, and of course a plain surface. And after securing the design, I painted this piece with the acrylic paint. Uh, it was white color acrylic paint. Uh, I used normal paint where the coffee stain is somewhat mixing into your paint. Do not worry about that, it will help to make this piece more rustic. And then I removed the tape when paint was somewhat dry and it was looking so nice and clean and I was loving the way piece turned out. To improvise the overall look of the piece, I gave it a raw strokes of white paint using same brush and to finish it, I sanded down the fine edges uh, which was showing that this piece is being painted recently. You know, you know what I mean, right? And it was looking nice already and then I had an idea to make it look better. I went over the piece again, put on some tapes that makes lines with the same diagonal ends both sides. And for those lines, I used black and a brown colors. Basically, the colors with dark shades so it can stand out and also align with the design. And this is how I did my project. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and I would love to have your suggestions and the responses in the comment section below. So I'll see you all in the next video.